unfortunately, in our system, alumni participation is not that well encouraged. So I'm particularly happy to see alumni coming back to IIT, not only giving, but also engaging in a very different way. I want to congratulate IIT Delhi and the Piklanis for the dedication today of the laboratory. The early focus on growing area of Internet of Things as well as IoT also for machine to M develop state-of-the-art technology and expertise, intellectual property, products, algorithms, new ventures, new manufacturing facilities, new devices, and lot more. I believe m 2 m is going to be pervasive in the next. From my personal experiences, I believe with UID, National GIS, National Knowledge Network, Optical Fiber Network to connect the chats in India, M2M -M is going to be a major initiative going forward. It will have far-reaching implications on national security, logistics, auto industry, utilities, smart cities, just to give you some examples. We are already looking at a lot of these areas and I am delighted that this particular initiative will help us with a little more clarity, build human resource and provide us a base that we need. <coughs> In Internet of Things, base services is definitely seen all over the world. It will wrap up across many areas and India will have to pay attention to a lot of these initiatives now. I understand that the research in the Puklani Applied Research Laboratory has the explicit requirement that it be targeted towards usable products and services in India and also support entrepreneurship. I applaud this objective and wish IIT Delhi success. I also want to compliment US based company ILS Technology. I believe they have a special part in today's dedications since they are making a matching gift to IIT Delhi by way of their M2 and software platform license. Finally, I want to take this unique opportunity to convey my best wishes to IIT Delhi, to Pribrani family, and to the Institute for the long-term success and hope society in India benefit from this great step. Thank you, Anil, and thank you, Vera.
डॉक्टर मोहिनी मिर्जनानी माय आंट डॉक्टर जानकी मिर्जनानी फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स आई वांट टू एक्सप्रेस सिंसियर थैंक्स फ्रॉम वीर एंड आई टू सैम फॉर हिज वर्ड्स ऑफ विजडम एंड गाइडेंस वी आर ग्रेटफुल दैट ही कनेक्टेड इन एट दिस लेट आवर सैम रियली अप्रिशिएटेड एट द वेरी आउटसेट I want to thank and acknowledge the presence here of my family, including my better half, Vera, our children, Nikhil and Kavita, my sister, Angela Vasandani, my nephew, Sachal Vasandani, my aunts, I mentioned doctors Mohini and Janki Mitchandani, my cousins, Nina Bharti, I think they are here, um, who made key parts of this dedication possible, my cousins, Kamal Kripalani, Sindhu Malkani Rao, and her husbands. Rakesh Rao, Veera will acknowledge her relatives uh, present here and our friends. Several other close relatives wanted to join but could not make it. Without our loving and supportive families, today's dedication would have been incomplete at best, maybe even impossible. I join family and friends here today to honor Tola Ram and Sunita Kripalani, parents to Angela and I. with the dedication of this applied technology laboratory our parents set the example for our development and taught us in their own unique ways dad was a hands-on engineer as some of you know there are some of his colleagues here who stressed that what one lacked in god-given smarts one could strive to compensate for with persistence and hard work and he sang segal songs I've gone from one extreme to the other. Segal songs, as well as the original, in my view. Mom was a teacher through and through, endowed with a sharp and analytical mind, keen memory, deductive capability, a thirst for knowledge, and a surprising artistic flair. She was a topper in her fast path through school and college, and became a matric level. Some of you know what matric meant. matric level maths teacher immediately after graduation when women were supposed to focus on home economics and the arts i don't know what the subjects were called home economics but you get the point her four sisters and three brothers were all bright science graduates she did not raise her voice often to us but there was no doubting her firmness of purpose and her expectations of us i think angela will be shaking her head at some points when i recount this <laughs> When on completing fourth grade in St. Xavier's High School in Civil Lines, I proudly presented my report card to my mother, showing that I had come second in class. I waited for her shabash beta, with congratulatory words. It was the first time I had reached that. While she showed happiness for a brief moment, the teacher mother saw my rank and subject-wise scores as somewhat short. She walked me through the list of my subjects. There were 14, I think, in that particular term. I don't remember. Uh, including moral science and things inquiring about the top score in each then pointedly asked me why i had not come first and what i planned to do about closing the gap in the next term that was our mother soft spoken but firm to the point and sometimes blunt but always ending with encouragement setting an example for me by making it quite obvious that one could do better she loved mathematics the sciences reading fiction and non fiction and teaching she regularly took on the challenge of understanding and explaining the new electronic devices <coughs> that we acquired particularly when dad expressed frustration with a poorly written instruction book for that equipment this is a grande tape recorder comes to mind to begin with that extended to the pc and i've come forward 40 years where in her mid 80s actually at 85 maybe even it uh, the last year she was successfully doing software updates and virus checks and you know how complicated sometimes they get she was the deducer i don't know if that is exactly the the meaning of it but you know what i mean deductive she looked at the instructions and followed it and filled in the gaps herself who set an example <coughs> by her own systematic approach to improving her understanding becoming the expert and then explaining to the rest of us Dad had to be away in Kota in the late 60s for months at a time to help set up and run the DCM factory there. Mom was the one who taught and motivated me through senior Cambridge exams, the months of IIT preparation, 
by the joint entrance exam preparation and then the entrance interview. She drove me there too. I would never have made it to IIT Delhi if it had not been for her. Throughout the next 40 years, even though I had moved past her areas of academic expertise, she was able to serve as a sounding board for life's challenges and inspiration, even on corporate organizational challenges that I encountered, just like she clearly had done for dad over the years. What I would like to offer today with this dedication is heartfelt thanks <coughs> from a grateful son and pupil. Dad was the engineer's engineer, a senior DCM executive, who some of you know, who in his 45-year career was deeply involved in many varied ventures, ranging from textiles, tires, state-of-the-art foundries, to calculators and mini computers from DCM data products. He was key to the success of the wanted DCM senior management trainee program. Some of you may remember that, and there are some representatives here from that program where they selected the smartest candidates with the right stuff. <coughs> Even in the, his 60s and 70s, he chose to take on project, I should say up to the age of 70, project after challenging project to expand DCM beyond its existing domain of products or comfort zone, corporate comfort zone. There were many memorable <coughs> events along the way. However, I will never forget the day in 1967 when as a 10th grade student, I had the chance to accompany him here to this campus, probably the building adjacent, for a meeting with Professor Indresen. Uh, the professors here might have known him or know him by reputation. The head of the EE department where dad proposed plans for interviewing and hiring smart engineers at different levels of, <coughs> different levels for the newly formed DC and Bayer products. You see, he was an early supporter of Delhi IIT, and he would be very happy with what we are doing today. That 1967 visit to this campus, I believe, inspired me to work harder in high school in that last year to get to IIT Delhi. In his 60s, he spent nearly five years learning about and internalizing Japanese way of manufacturing. Kanban is the name that I recollect and running automotive businesses. Not only did he learn from the Japanese, he taught them, specifically in the DCM Toyota truck joint venture. Some of you may know about that. That was him, which he set up and led. When he decided to retire from DCM Toyota at the age of 70, Mr. Shoichiro Toyoda, co-founder of Toyota Corporation, wrote a personal letter to him, which I still have a copy of, wishing he would stay on. This was at his retirement, expressed desire to retire at 70. <coughs> Present with us here are a few key people from his long career at DCM, who he treated as his family, and I'm sure you will testify to that. I know we're not able to communicate uh, with every one of his family, that corporate family, and couldn't accommodate everybody here today, and I apologize for that. Dr. Vinay Bharatram, of DCM, sent his regrets due to health reasons, had intended to join us, and has sent the following letter addressed to us, read to, for you by my sister Angela Rathmala. I'm going to read Dr. Vinay Bharatram's letter, just written a few words. Um, it is a proud moment for all of us who have known your father and mother. Mr. Kripalani was my mentor when I joined DCM. He and I worked together on setting up numerous projects under the DCM umbrella. There was nobody I know who was more thorough and diligent in his work. He had the ability to understand technologies across the board from textiles to information technology and finally truck manufacture in DCM Toyota. We miss him greatly. Thank you. Dr. Kripalani was my grandfather. I'd just like to say a couple words and um, just leave you with the idea that this dedication should and hopefully will be an inspiration to the students that walk these halls. And let me tell you what I mean. We do hope that the students that attend IIT Delhi will go on to pursue great achievements, great success, and that they will be enriched by that their, ti their time here 
as they're doing so. But in naming the lab after my grandparents, Tola Rama and Sunita Kripalani, we also hope that um, they achieve this success with a measure of intent. And let me tell you what I mean. Uh, as, a, as I perceive it through the lens of my grandparents, intent is a strong sense of belief, a strong sense of worth in what you're doing towards building a better truck company, towards building a better family, towards building a better world, and ultimately to be having a sense of worth about yourself. Uh, my grandparents lived in this way, as my uncle O'Neill has said, with a colossal work ethic, a discipline, that rivals no one I've met in my life since. Um, they had that potential, they had that discipline for family, as well as their worth in the world that they exhibited, as Anil Mama said, to work. One thought as we leave, or as I leave the state. We hope that the students here are going to go on to do those great things, that they're going to go on and build things as Sam Petrota said, that we cannot yet imagine. But we hope that they will do so with intent and purpose and a sense of worth, and that in a small way, the sense will be strengthened by the memory of my grandparents, Sunita and Tolaram Kripalan. Thank you very much. My dad always maintained a keen interest in technology asking Vera and I questions about Unix, C, this is when C was first new, value-added networks, 30 years ago, pre-internet internet, if you will, the generations of cellular technology when we were helping pioneers in Bell Labs, providing encouragement when we were buffeted by major organizational challenges. Dad never stopped pushing me to be entrepreneurial and start my own company. It was beyond my comfort zone. But he did quiz us when we walked away from a 450,000 employee company which had gone down from a million employees called AT&T to join a small company called Qualcomm. And then again years later when I left Qualcomm. His pushing on the topic of entrepreneurship led me to establish the consulting company Wirefreecom that I currently have to work with startups and small and mid-sized like Fred's company and uh, an organization called TIE, the Indus Entrepreneurs. Most significant to today's proceedings was the oft-repeated push both from both of them, but Dad in particular, to make a difference in India. He often pushed me to explain through the Indian media, and he used to write to Times of India, so he thought it was perfectly normal for me to do so, through the Indian media, how advances in cellular technology would make a difference how innovation and com competition in technologies, CDMA, GSM, you've heard all that, Indian newspapers are full of 2G, 3G, 4G wasn't around when he was here, camera phones, and what the use of that, and how that might be, and how does it work, and where does that information go, GPS, we, my wife and I worked GPS actively when nobody knew what <coughs> GPS, and for that matter, camera phones, <laughs> how they would help change things. I wish they could have been around to see the significant growth India is seeing in the five years almost, well, to the day since their passing. Dad passed away on the 21st of February and Mom on the 24th of February, three days later. As a direct consequence of wireless technology, this is what they wanted us to explain, and now leading to the Internet of Things. It is a great thing that IIT Delhi is doing under Director Shiv Gaonkar's leadership in establishing the Khosla School of Information Technology with Professor Sanjeeva Prasad at the helm to keep advancing the state of the art through research and educational curriculum. I should thank Mr. Vinod Khosla for his endowment towards the establishment of this school which honors his parents. Veer and I are grateful to Professor Sanjeeva Prasad and Ambridge Sagar for suffering our calls at all times of day and night and messages for the past year to make this day possible and also to Professor Anshul Kumar, our classmate, who began this process at the beginning in 2011 with Professor Hazur Sarat. Most significantly, I want to acknowledge Fred Yance of ILS Technology 
a pragmatic and committed visionary. He, he blushed when I told him I was going to say some words like this, who did not hesitate in his very gracious offer <coughs> on the street outside the Bharti school in March of 2011 to match our endowment in kind, giving IIT Delhi software licenses cost-free to their successful device-wise, and I can testify to that. <laughs> platform that is seeing global interest and acceptance from major utilities, telecom service providers, and we have some representatives here, and varied enterprises. M2M or the Internet of Things will change our lives, as Sam Petroda said, through secure smart device or sensor communications. And letters that we have received for this dedication ceremony from Professor Sheila Aditya, who was our classmate, and Jules and and Jews and readers and mine. And from Dr. Mukun Rajan, who is spokesperson of the Tata Group now, has just been elevated in the last week. I recognize that, but this is going to be an important area. I sincerely believe that IIT Delhi and the researchers associated with the Kripalani Applied Technology Laboratory will break new ground and be recognized globally for their contributions. With that, I'd like to introduce the expert in that area. And admittedly, this is the first area. It's not the only thing, but it's going to be the next 30 years minimum, along with other things. Fred Yates, CEO of First, I would like to thank the Kripalani family for allowing ILS Technology and myself to be part of this wonderful event. I'm both honored and humbled uh, to stand here today during the recognition of Anil and Vera's uh, parents here at the university. It's evident by everyone's participation, the stories told, that uh, your parents were truly special and really wanted to build a better world. Uh, their dedication to education, innovation, and technology has left a legacy through the works of their children, the things you see here today. Through the dedication of the Applied Technologies Lab in the seminar hall, their legacy of innovation and collaboration will continue here at IIT Delhi. On a personal note, it's been my pleasure to get to know both Anil and Vera and their family through mutual participation in an organization called the Telecommunications Industry Association. TIA is an association focused on information and communications technology, and it consists of manufacturers and solution providers dedicated to driving standards, policy, and market growth in that space. As such, it was not hard to understand why Anil made TIA one of his homes. Anil, your dedication to the wireless uh, industry and beer and standards where our paths first intersected um, is, is, is incredible. What's interesting, though, is, is we all know of CDMA and 3G and, and the wireless standards that Anil has worked on in the past. Some of his work today around the Internet of Things and standards for uh, what we call machine-to-machine or the big changes that I think many of us can't even comprehend. Um, M10 technology will allow us to build a smarter planet, one connected device at a time. That means smarter utilities, smarter water, smarter transportation, ultimately a higher quality of life. It's even hard to imagine that <coughs> how many uh, advancements will be made not only in technology and solutions, but in, in the business space. An applied technologies lab means ultimately products and services will be created. And I believe that through this, uh, through this work and through this dedication, there will be a place for that to take place here. It, uh, it only seemed appropriate when I learned of Anil and Vera's intent to dedicate a laboratory and conference center here at IIT Delhi that ILS Technology should participate. And it wasn't during, it wasn't until my visit in, uh, in 2011 with Anil where he mentioned, stood on the sidewalk out here, uh, and I really saw the passion and the vision through Anil's 
optics or what this could be. Right then I knew we had to do this and I knew exactly how we would participate. So therefore on behalf of ILS Technology and our entire team, it's a pleasure to announce our donation of our device-wise software and solution services platform, which will enable the Kripalani Applied Technologies Laboratory to accelerate their research and development in the Internet of Things domain. It is my hope that through the use of our standards-based secure device-wise tools that IIT Delhi students, faculty, and staff, in cooperation with the public and private sector companies, will create innovative Internet of Things solution solutions that will bring benefit to the university, to India, and the world. I want to thank Anil and Vera, the professors here at the university, and all of you who have made this dedication possible. The ongoing spirit of innovation, which will surely be created inside the walls of the laboratory, will be the true legacy left by the Kripalani family. In closing, I want to say thank you again, Vera and Neil, for allowing us to participate in this event. Danki Anti, Mwini Anti, Pambi and friends. I am so delighted that you all could be here today on this special occasion. We all know that we stand on the shoulders of people who come before us. One of my earliest memories is literally sitting on my dad's shoulders, waiting for the school bus to come. He would make me count to a hundred and then backwards to one, and if the bus was really late, he made me count by skipping every odd number. <laughs> that is how I learned my two times table at the age of four without even realizing it. My father was an engineer too, by profession, and he was responsible for the first microwave telecom system that was set up in India. Nobody knows this, but we know. <laughs> he worked for the Indian Railways in the Signal and Telecommunications Department and realized that the Post and Telegraph's communication system existing at that time could not meet the increasing communication needs of the Indian Railways. He therefore pushed a plan for the Indian Railways to develop yeah. their own microwave communications network. He took my brother and me to see the microwave towers that his department was erecting way before the PMT department even dreamed of a microwave network for, his customers, for their customers. My parents were my first teachers, and it was clear from the beginning that our family gave the utmost importance to education. I grew up in a fairly sheltered environment, but there was no shelter to hide in when the grades didn't match my parents' expectations. <laughs> It was my mother who told me, mathematics is the mother of all sciences. And if I worked hard at maths, I could do anything in life. When I told her that an older friend of mine found algebra difficult, she didn't miss a beat and came right back with, I don't know why your friend finds it hard, because algebra is meant to be fun, and so is geometry. <laughs> she didn't give me a moment to feel that I could not do something like mathematics. Therefore, I had no choice but to enjoy algebra when I entered sixth grade. So, my parents intuitively understood that educating a girl child required not only sending her to a good school, but bolstering her confidence on a daily basis because there were so many unwritten rules in the Indian <coughs> culture about what girls could do and could not do. They would tell me very proudly that both my dad's sisters were professionals, a physician and a college professor, and that martyr girls could break the mold if they chose to do so. Thanks to the example set by my aunts and several pioneering martyr women, such as Mother Jaffrey, the well-known actress, Sharon Rani, the virtuoso Sarod player, and Prema Mathur, the first woman in India to earn a commercial pilot's license, 
it became possible for me to dream of becoming an engineer and to appear for the extremely competitive joint entrance exam for IIT in 1969. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the most awesome Miss R. Gita, who was the first woman admitted to IIT Delhi. Even though Gita had successfully cleared the entrance exam, IIT Delhi would not accept her because the director felt they had no facilities to house women on campus. Gita told the director, remember she was barely 16 or 17 years old, she told the director that he had to start some, admitting women sometime and he might as well start with her. The director eventually gave in and that is how we got the girls hostel. Although I never met Gita, she was my hero and remains so today. We women engineers from IIT Delhi will forever be in her debt for clearing the path for us. When I look back and remember my first day at this prestigious institution, I remember a scared 16-year-old putting on a brave front as she enters the main building. I want to hold her tight and tell her, all is well. <laughs> that young girl came straight from an all-girls school to the ultimate male bastion, an engineering college. Luckily for her, she had her cousin Anjana, who was right there, with her. And the two of them somehow managed to get through the first semester. Gradually, both of us learned to cope with the unique academic and social pressures at this premier engineering college. As our minds and personalities were molded over a period of five years by the faculty at IIT Delhi and the rigorous <coughs> curriculum they had created, we developed confidence in our technical capabilities <coughs> and in ourselves as individuals. Our younger brothers, one of them who <coughs> joined IIT when we were midway through our college. One of our seniors joked with us that if any more Marxers showed up at IIT, the institute would have to be renamed MIT. <laughs> <laughs> the education I received at IIT built the foundation for my career and helped me contribute towards the advancement of global telecommunications, especially in the field of wireless. I'm really grateful to the director at, and deans at IIT for giving us this opportunity to honor my parents by naming the seminar hall at the School of Information Technology after them. For Anil and I, there could be no better way of honoring them than at our very own alma mater, where we met 43 years ago. I want to thank several members of my family who helped make this day's proceedings possible. Anjana Thar, Kushal Kumar, Mohit Mathur, Meena and Bharti Mirchandani, and Angela Vasudani. Thank you once again for joining us at this dedication ceremony. And I would now like to request my uncle, Shri Girish Chandra, to say a few words. My uncle is a retired Supreme Court lawyer who served for several years as a government advocate litiga litigating on behalf of the government of India and is the author of the book Advocacy. He is my dad's elder brother and the respected head of our family, Mr. Girish Chandra. Ladies and gentlemen, Girish Chandra was two years younger than I, but the difference became insignificant as we grew older and we became friends rather than just siblings. Even as a young person I realized that he was slightly different from me in as much as he seemed to have a stronger mind. He seemed to confront problems squarely in the face and take brave decisions. He was also methodical. On account of these qualities, he had no difficulty in getting admission into Roti Engineering College, 
which was one of the most prestigious engineering college of those times. After completing his studies, he joined the railway engineering services and rose to become chief engineer in the signals department. As an officer, he was a straight and efficient administrator who won the respect and affection of his colleagues, whom I had the chance to meet on several occasions. From a young age, he was fond of teaching young people. Yet he was lucky to have Vidya Mathur as a wife, who was a competent, broad-minded, graceful and talented lady. She was a perfectionist in all she did, be it raising her children, maintaining a household, and keeping up with her love for Indian classical music. I'm happy to know that his daughter Veera Kaprani and his son-in-law Anil Kaprani are now trying to give back something to the educational institution which put them on their highly successful careers. I congratulate them for the same. I would now like to ask my dad's dear friend from his railway family, Mr. Katie Madan, to please come and say a few words. He uh, has known my father most of ever since I, before I was born. And he probably was one of the last railway people to speak to him on the phone. Because they used to communicate almost every week. You may not be aware that Mr. Madan was, uh, I'm sure you're not aware, but <laughs> he was the person in charge of the All India Radio team when Mahatma Gandhi, on January 30th, 1948, went to give, went to a prayer meeting at Birla House. Mother and uncle was there with the AIR team ready to broadcast that prayer meeting. That's when he heard the shots. Till today, he goes every year to that site in memory of <coughs> Mahatma Gandhi. Mm -hmm. Mr. Mother, thank you. To support and to applaud the initiative and the magnificence of both Vida and Anil to honor their parents. Vida's father, Sirish Chandra, and I were colleagues in the larger railway family. In this regard, I'd like to quote some of the fellow officers who were uh, sent messages. Uh, four of his, all of these colleagues were junior colleagues who were groomed <coughs> by each other. And uh, they had sent these messages. I'd like to read extract from them, please. Mr. Rameshwar Dugal. They are. They are. He says, I had the good fortune to learn signaling under the tutelage and always admired him for his thoroughness and technical skills. At ST Marks, that is uh, Sardar Patel Mark, where uh, Sri used to live, and I was also living there. We had a singing session where Sri Chandra sang a ghazal. <laughs> but this was another of his interests, by the way. R. Krishna Swami, message dated 17-9. He was also one of the signaling engineers. And by the way, all of these four gentlemen were uh, groomed by uh, Sri Chandra, but in course of time they rose to become heads of their own respective departments. Our Krishna Swami says, he was our respected chief, but was looked upon more as a father. His judgment and above all, his sense of humor in putting across his viewpoint was an example of a mature and noble mind. B. G. Kale, message dated 18-9, he says, he and his contemporaries laid a solid foundation for signal and telecom department. <coughs> and as far as I am concerned, it's confined to radio telecommunication, which I was a beneficiary. 
as they had broad shoulders and cool, and as he had broad shoulders and cool and balanced mind. And finally, V. P. Chandan, message dated 11/9. In Sri Chandra, we have lost a visionary and a committed officer of the Indian Railways. The current and future generations of signal engineering will be inspired by his brilliance. Anil and Mira Kriplani, other distinguished family members of Kriplani and Mathil, our distinguished colleagues uh, from IIT Delhi. It is indeed a great moment uh, for the dedication of this facility at the IIT school. If you see philosophically, the Vedic traditions say that we are always indebted to our parents and to our alma mater. No matter what we do, a debt can never be paid back. That's what our Indian tradition says. I think by creating this facility, by giving this donation, <coughs> I think Anil and Vira are trying to pay back a little bit to both. The parents, by naming these facilities in the honor of the parents of both. And also at Alma Mater, which is a vibrant place. A lot of activities are happening here. And the facilities which are here at the high school, I'm sure a lot of young people will make use of this facility. They start doing cutting edge research into this. And as Anil said in his presentation, this technology, uh, wireless technology and ICT is certainly going to play a major role in the years to come. In fact, India in wireless technology has almost short circuit the world. Most of the world went to the line wire technology to wireless technology. In India, I think wire, before the wire technology could even mature, the wireless technology has to take over. Today there are more wireless communication phones than the landlines in the country. And most of the facilities are actually working on the wireless technology. So this facility which is created, indeed, we are very thankful to Anil and Vira both for giving the generous donation to IIT Delhi. And on my personal behalf, on our behalf of IIT Delhi, we would like to thank you for, for, for this wonderful gesture. But more than this donation, actually, we, we would like to have more participation, not only from you, but other your colleagues, your friends from the batch, to play a role in IIT system. As you all know that IIT completed 50 years last year, and now we are trying to define our path for the next 50 years. And I'm sure next 50 years, the things are going to be exponentially different than what happened in the last 50 years. So as we look at the technology, especially in ICT and wireless, the obsolete time is five years. So that means, you know, it is very difficult how the things are going to be 20 years down the line. Many times the Indian government asked us to predict what the technology would be there 35 years down the line? What is your 2035 vision? And to me, if I look back uh, 20 years, it's hard to believe what was there 20 years back to predict what we are today. But this vibrant thing which are happening in the industry and in academia, I think they work together. And that's where I want to have more participation from the alumni. <coughs> so wonderfully well in, in the industrial front. They should keep coming back, keep advising, how, how the IIT should move, and uh, we will be very really open to receive the feedback and the comments from our distinguished alumni who will, will come back and give us the feedback. So we look for much more participation into IIT system, and uh, I will look for you to come back again and give the advices and so on. On the Viras comment, uh, uh, that the hardship which you went through uh, mm -hmm. as, a, as a girl uh, in IIT Delhi, I think you have come a very long way now. Now there are two hostels, uh, big hostels for ladies, and one more big hostel is going to come. So the percentage is, I think, 20, 20 and odd percent, uh, which is in IIT. So the things have really moved very well. And in years to come, I think this number is still going to grow. The day we are looking for it, there will be 50 50 in IIT. <laughs> so let us hope for that, that that will happen. And uh, we'll do our best to really do the best. We want 49. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So once again, thank you very much for this session. And uh, uh, we are really glad to have you here. Thank you. Anil, by Veera, and by Professor Shankarkar. Um, for me, this has been a very uh, rewarding engagement with Anil and Veera. 
um, not just because you know this is uh, a donation coming into the School of IT, which is founded by another distinguished analyst in the memory of his parents uh, to uh, you know to start an activity, but really what the economists call the nudge, and it wasn't one nudge, Anil. I'm glad you've been nudging us uh, to take up the uh, activity in the Internet of Things to put us in, uh, you know, into the loop to get to rope Fred and ILS Technologies in, which is going to be a catalyst, we hope, for a lot of interesting research, not just in the area of applications, but when I was looking at the ILS uh, Technologies and, and looking at, you know, how they, a little demo, I realize there's a very uh, interesting area of programming language design for um, you know how to how to actuate things and uh, you know to get sensor information and, and complete the loop. Uh, so we go from sensor networks to something which is far more you know uh, innovative uh, in a variety of areas. So I, I see it's not just uh, one area that we're going to uh, catalyze, but a whole lot of areas that we. So thank you for the nudge, and thank you. I also like very much what Sam Petroda said and what um, Professor Shev Gaukar under, underlined, that we want our alumni, I'm sure I'm which is going to speak more about this, to be involved with us, to help us you know, move to areas where they see the challenges of the next several years come. Thank you very much. Well, um, it's an honor for me to be to be standing here and uh, uh, on this on this really wonderful day, it's been it's been a culmination of a series of conversations, and I have to say, I think nudge is a is a gentle word. I think I think, but uh, with many pushes from Anil and Vera, but I very much appreciate those. I think I think uh, we as an institution also need to be thinking about how to do things a little bit differently, and this uh, gift of yours in the, in the memory of your parents is very much. Uh, I think takes us very much in the right direction uh, by supporting both the educational side of IIT through the through the seminar hall in memory of Vera's parents and through the Applied Technology Lab, which is on the research front uh, in areas, as, as the director mentioned and as was mentioned earlier, in areas that obviously are going to be important in the coming in the coming uh, coming years. Uh, so I think it's uh, it's really I, I would call this. Uh, Anil and Vera really as catalysts for us uh, in being more innovative in thinking about how to work with work with our uh, alumni base. And I, I have to say that we have actually an absolutely amazing group of alumni. Mm. And, uh, and I think it is uh, incumbent upon us to figure out how to work uh, better with them, as Professor Chef Gamper also mentioned. Uh, it's a, a tremendous intellectual uh, asset. It's, it's uh, people with amazing experiences, people with all kinds of resources to offer. And I think for IIT, it's uh, 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 for us, for, uh, for the edu education we need to impart to our students, for the contribution we need to make to our research, I think it's, it's a tremendous set of possibilities for us. Um, and I should also say that, you know, uh, Anil and Vera, not only have they uh, uh, given this gift, they've also brought along Fred Jens with his ILS technologies to actually even uh, in a sense, kickstart the the, uh, the activities in the Applied Technology Lab. So thank you very much, Fred, for your uh, generous donation also. I think uh, it's very much going to make sure that we, in a sense, hit the ground running in the Applied Technology Lab. And through the seminar hall, I think we're going to have a terrific set of speakers coming through to excite the students and, and engage with them. Um, so I think to me, uh, hopefully, this is uh, beginning of a series of gifts. I should mention something, by the way. I was just sitting here and thinking about, I've taken over this office only recently, but in the last um, few years, we've actually had a fair number of alumni coming by, uh, well, some alumni coming by with, uh, with fairly generous gifts and really, I think, beginning to transform IIT. And so the big things that I see are the Kusuma School of Biological Sciences, the Keshwani uh, uh, facility for, uh, for uh, uh, central, uh, central Laboratories and Infrastructure, the Khosla School of IIT, and now the Kriplani Gifts. I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing the trend, but I think we need more alumni with last names with K. <laughs> 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 so, 
so I think <laughs> something special, obviously. <laughs> so it's sort of, you know, I, I appreciate your, your, your saying IIT could have been called MIT, but I think we're moving more towards KIT. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think I'll, I'll, I'll end with that. And I, I just want to say it's really a delight, a pleasure, and with gratitude that I really stand here to acknowledge your gifts, Anil, Veera, and Fred. Thank you very much. And I think those, the seminar hall and the Applied Technology Laboratory will continue to add to your alma mater for years to come. Thanks again. Thank you. Post our school for the dedication of the seminar hall and the Applied Technology Laboratory. So if you could just uh, 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 right out through the door and to the right.